I'm gonna show you right here. Here's what it looks like. A little hot. And I just gently slide this off and it's done. Uh, my name is Jeremy Filco. Um, I'm here in Vienna, uh, Virginia. And this all started uh, not even a week ago in some conversations with a friend of ours that's a doctor and another one that's a nurse uh, in a local ER. And they were mentioning that they were having to wear the N85 mask for uh, days and they're being told to be prepared to wear them for five days. And these are masks that are meant to be on, treat a patient, expose and grab another. And everybody's heard about the huge shortages. So I wanted to help them have a higher probability of not having their mask get soiled. And that's where we're going. Take your N95. Put it inside, you've got a shield. This little guy right here was one of our first ones. We came up with, this is the more modern one right now. And the feedback from, uh, that we're taking in from nurses, doctors uh, throughout uh, uh, the community, and we're making little changes uh, to make them fit better, to make them more comfortable. As of this morning, we had 114 builders or makers sign up to be print to shield. Um, so there's a lot out there as we bring them together we would love to have a site where people can say, I am a maker in Miami. Oh, I see this hospital needs three, have their email addresses, they do a quick comms, and then they do an exchange. That's the fastest and that's the truest form. Uh, using the post office or FedEx or US, uh, UPS is great, but it's a delay. So I think there are two um, principles that are important to you when you're doing this. One is do no harm. The other one is you insist that this should be free. Why is that? Um, well, it, it, it stems from very personal. Uh, my daughter's type 1 diabetic. Um, and insulin was essentially given away, I think, uh, given to the government with almost patent free, if I recall. Um, and now it's quite expensive. For this, charging, even charging shipping to the people that are running to the sound of the guns, just, it doesn't work for me. Um, I think about, uh, I never served in combat, but I think about the people that have, and the thought of them having to pay for a, a ceramic plate for their protective equipment is unacceptable. That's how I look at this. If we're asking our military to go to combat, then they, need, they shouldn't have to pay for their gear. Our doctors and our nurses, our uh, EMTs, first responders, and all the people that support them are running to the sound of the guns. They shouldn't have to pay for that. It's, it's very personal to me that this is free and always free uh, for a time of crisis. It's not the time to sit down and worry about making money. I'm generally not an emotional person, um, but when I can go onto my site or into my personal email or the team email, and within two minutes, I'm gonna see somebody saying, thank you, what can I do? Um, those, those two tiny sentences uh, generally come together over and over and over again. Uh, having people that say, I wanna buy a printer, I've never done it, how do I do this? Um, I'm a designer, I am certified in AutoCAD, what can I do? Uh, those are just, they're coming in like rain. And that is probably the single most warming thing is reaffirming uh, my belief, uh, which I've struggled with in the past, that people really want to come together. Uh, there's a lot more that holds us together than pulls us apart. Hold on, printer's done, I got work to do.